Graphic Audio presents The Clockwork Century by Sherry Priest. You don't even remember it, do you? What it was like before the wall? No, but I remember the wall when it first went up. I remember watching it rise, foot by foot, around the contaminated blocks, all 200 feet of it, all the way around the evacuated neighborhoods. I remember it, too. They finished construction on the day my son was born. It was all he ever heard while I was carrying him. As soon as the poor child arrived, the world fell silent. Speaking of the boy, it's getting late. Where's he gotten off to, I wonder? <clears throat> Here we are. No one else to hear. You talk and you talk fast. I want to know where Zeke went and I want to know now. <clears throat> All he wants is to prove that Leviticus wasn't crazy or a crook. What makes him think he can do that? He might have heard a rumor from someplace. <clears throat> don't, ma'am. Don't. Don't do that. He'll be fine. All those people, they know about Maynard and they'll look after him. All those people where? He's gone. He went... How would he do that? And what does he plan to do when he gets over the wall and he can't breathe or see? And there's no one there but the leftover locked-in shambling rotters who will grab him and kill him. Jeremiah, who you got there? Everybody, this is Miss Briar Wilkes. She got a ride from your friend of mine, Captain Cly, and thought she'd visit our fair and fine vacation destination here inside the walls. And I couldn't think of a better place to begin than here at the spot named for her daddy. She's got a few questions she'd like to ask, and I hope you'll be good enough to treat her nice. I'm looking for my son. Has anybody seen him? His name is Ezekiel, and he'll be going by Zeke. Zeke Wilkes. He's only 15, and he's a smart kid, aside from the stump, stupid idea to come in here. Have any of you... Have any of you seen him? I I thought, that is, Mr. Swackhammer said that maybe someone would have brought him here, since Zeke is who he is. I I thought... This is all my fault. And if anything horrible has happened to him, that's all my fault, too. I've done so many things wrong, and I don't know how to fix any of it. Zap didn't just damage the mind. It turned the body necrotic. Dan Green would catch and sprawl, creeping out from the corners of mouths and eating away cheeks and noses. Fingers and toes would fall away. And in time, the body might fully transform into a parody of the undead Rotters, who no doubt still shambled hopelessly through the walled-up quarters. This isn't the outskirts, Junior. You act like a fool out there. Maybe someone takes a switch to you or pops you in the jaw. You make problems in here, and you'll be rotter shit before dawn. The Clockwork Century. Bone Shaker. Available now in graphic audio.